Former President John Dramani Mahama has criticized the Akufado government for distributing ambulances without the corresponding resources of health facilities in the country. In a Facebook interaction, the NDC flag bearer noted that the ambulances may not be able to serve their purpose as most of the country's hospitals and clinics are not capable of handling emergency cases, indicating also that they are to complete projects that were started by the the former government to make sure that they are able to serve better the people of the country. Consumption, they are not improving the roads. All the hospitals that were being built to improve access to health care, you have brought them to a standstill and instead you are glorifying in uh, uh, distributing ambulances. Where the ambulances take sick people? They take them to hospitals. And so the priority it should be to finish the hospitals so that if an accident happens and you pick the patient, you have a good facility to send them to. And yet, Formina Hospital, Kumawu Hospital, Abetifi Hospital, Bekwai Hospital, Tepa Hospital, Upper West Regional Hospital in Wa, Bogatanga Hospital, all those hospitals we started. University of Ghana Medical Center, you know, Bank Hospital, International Maritime Hospital, have all come to a standstill. And yet you are distributing ambulances. And so you pick the person and send them where? And they say there's no bed. And then you get there, they have to put a plastic chair in accident and emergency for the people to sit in. I mean, there's a complete loss of prioritization. And it's not the first time ambulances have been given. In 2012, 2013, we brought 161 ambulances. We did not make posters and say we're distributing ambulances and so on and so forth. You know, yes, you have brought ambulances, fine. We brought ambulances. We brought fire engines. Almost every district got a fire engine. I didn't go and stand and make posters that I was distributing fire engines. You know, there are many other things that we did without, I mean, it's government's obligation to do it. We gave the police more than 1,000 vehicles, the highest number of vehicles the police have ever had.